Jim, can you comment on smoking and COPD and um, how hard it is for people to quit smoking? Yes. Uh, I started smoking when I was about 14 years old. And I quit on my 50th birthday for eight years. Started back, smoked for six years again. Then quit again because my wife quit with me that time. And she came down with lung cancer right after that. But uh, she smoked about a pack a day, and I smoked three packs a day. Uh, I never slowed down until I quit. And I just quit cold turkey. I just threw them over the counter and said, that's it. I'm not going to have any more. And I could feel better. I could breathe better. And I think if I had done that many, many years ago, I wouldn't be in as bad a shape as I'm in now. Ursula, can you tell me your experience with smoking and COPD and how difficult it is to stop and what motivated you to stop this time? I, ha I got sick a lot of times with um, bronchitis. And that one time it was pretty bad years ago, 14 years ago. And uh, I just didn't touch another cigarette. And I didn't mind it. I wish I had quit earlier. Had you thought about quitting before? L lots of times, because everybody was always after me to yeah. quit smoking. So Jim, it seems like you had thought about quitting a long time before you quit for good. Oh yeah, I'd talk myself, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then I wouldn't do it. You know, I'd come up with some excuse that, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have one. If I had one, I was gonna smoke a pack. I tried smoking cigars. Okay, I can have a cigar. Well, I had a cigar. Then I was having two cigars. And I thought one day, you know, I just smoked six cigars today. Hell, I might as well smoke cigarettes. So I put cigars down and started smoking cigarettes again. So it's tough. It's really tough to, to quit for good.